Those that new Hersa, even though it's been 13 years, the pain still feels like it was yesterday. And if you drive by the New Haven Police Department, you'll notice a purple and black bunting being hung outside to remember Officer Diane Gonzalez and Sergeant Dario Scott Aponte. It was on September 9th, 2008, when Officer Gonzalez and Sergeant Aponte responded separately to a report of a violent domestic dispute. On their way there, they got into a bad crash at the intersection of Chapel and East streets where Officer Gonzalez suffered a traumatic brain injury and Sergeant Aponte died instantly. Tonight, Gonzalez's body arrived at Bradley International Airport from Florida. The cell phone video captured by my colleague Tony Terzi shows the Wallingford Fire Department standing on the Route 68 overpass to salute the hearse carrying Gonzalez, making its way to New Haven. A procession was then held at the intersection of where that crash happened. From there, her body was brought to Giovanni Funeral Home, where her family and fellow colleagues exchanged hugs and memories of Gonzalez. Some of them speaking to Fox 61 tonight on how they will remember her by. It was an amazing tribute to a woman who served this city and sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice for this city. Um, just to see the the procession to the airport and on the way back, every overpass was lined with police and fire honoring Officer Gonzalez tonight. I remember my memory of Diane was that from minute one, she was a matriarch in our academy class. Uh, she just had a way about her, a, a smile on her face all the time, but with a, with a steadfast sternness to her uh, that that was unbending. And Calling hours for Gonzalez will be held next Tuesday in New Haven and funeral services will be the following day. Gonzalez served with the New Haven Police Department for 13 years and she leaves behind two daughters, a son and some grandchildren. I'm live in New Haven, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.